This Bluetooth OBD2 scanner is compatible with JDM cars. Today, I will show you how to link it to your Android head unit to not only diagnose your car, but also monitor engine parameters. Stay tuned. Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. This is the OBD Link MX Plus Bluetooth OBD2 scanner. It runs on the popular ELM327 microcontroller, making it compatible with all legislated OBD2 protocols and then some. In addition, the microcontroller is supported by a lot of OBD Android and iOS apps, so you're spoiled for choice. It comes nicely packaged in this tiny hard shell box that measures about 3 inches by 3 inches. Out of the box, we are greeted with a 3-year warranty card that gives you peace of mind. The warranty card itself is made of plastic, a nice assurance of build quality and attention to detail by the manufacturer. The quick user guide illustrates how to pair the scanner to your smartphone for the very first time. The scanner comes protected in this nice pleather hard shell case. Built out of a hard plastic enclosure, the scanner not only feels durable, but very premium. The front face of the scanner has four LED lights along with a pairing button on the bottom left. Let's head out to the car and get this scanner plugged in to our OBD2 port. The OBD2 port is typically located under the dashboard on the driver's side. Once plugged in, activate pairing mode by pressing the pair button. The rapidly flashing link LED confirms it's ready to pair. As the car is already started, let us proceed to our head unit and launch the official OBD Link Android app that I downloaded from the Play Store. After accepting the terms of use, follow the wizard prompt to connect the scanner to the head unit. Upon successful pairing, the scanner will attempt to connect to the vehicle ECU. Since my car is JDM, the default OBD to ECU communication protocols will fail. JDM means that this vehicle was intended for the Japanese domestic market. Before the year 2008, JDM vehicles like my 2005 Toyota IST were not fully OBD2 compliant like the US and EU vehicles. Therefore, I will have to toggle on a setting to allow non-OBD2 protocols in the app preferences for it to connect to my ECU. However, for OBD2 compliant American and European cars, the default communication protocols used in the initial attempt will be successful. Having allowed the scanner to use all available protocols to establish a connection with the ECU, the first attempt to communicate with the ECU will take about 1 to 2 minutes. Thereafter, the working protocol will be remembered by the app for the specific vehicle and subsequent connections will take less than 5 seconds to be established. As you can see, the scanner successfully finds the protocol that works with my ECU. From here, you can enter your vehicle details, but I will skip that for now since I have some exported settings that I will load in a moment. Note that the app needs to be disconnected from the scanner before changing some of the app settings, including importation of presets. After importing my preset, I will connect the app to the scanner again and notice how fast it connects this time. This is because it uses the protocol it established to work with this vehicle and skips trying all other protocols. 
one of the main reasons I purchased this scanner is the ability to monitor engine parameters directly on my head unit using this nice configurable dashboard. I have preset it to display speed, RPM, coolant temperature, fuel rate and economy. You can configure the multiple dashboard pages to display anything you want as long as your ECU provides that data. As you can see, the RPM readings on the app match that of the tachometer in the background. This implies that the microcontroller in the scanner is very fast in updating real-time data. Now, what if you don't have an Android head unit? Will this work with Android Auto? Yes, it will. But the method of display of engine parameters on the Android Auto interface are not as fancy as those on the native form of the app. You will have to use your phone to access other functionalities such as diagnostics. This brings us to the second reason why I bought this scanner. The ability to run engine diagnostics directly from the Android head unit. Please note that it is advisable to run diagnostics when the engine is off and the ignition in the on position. I will not go through all the contents of the app as it can be freely accessed by anyone from the Android and iOS app stores and explode without being connected to the scanner. There are no monthly fees required to use the scanner and its companion app. As I mentioned earlier, you can also use various other apps as you prefer, but in my case, the default OBD app is the one that delivered the correct protocols for my vehicle. This scanner retails for about $140. Although this may seem steep compared to other Bluetooth scanners, the warranty and software support provided by OBD Link, including a Windows OBD diagnosis software called OBD Wiz, seemed too good to pass. Furthermore, having tried the Blue Driver Bluetooth scanner a few years ago with my JDM car but without success, I am particularly happy with this MX Plus scanner because of its compatibility with all JDM cars manufactured before the year 2008. That's it, my friends. If you have an Android head unit, this tiny scan tool can add extra functionality to your head unit by not only giving it the ability to perform diagnosis scan on your engine, but also display a plethora of important engine parameters. If you find this video helpful, please consider liking and subscribing for more tech content. Thanks for watching.